Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning on this rainy Thursday. Um, amazingly, it's not that cold. Well, it's 54 degrees, but it's, you know, it was not in the 40s like before. Um, however, it's raining, so I am not going to be here because um, I don't like doing these while it's raining. Um, so... I'm just, we're, I'm just going to hit it and quit it, all right? So my name is Lydia O'Boyd. I am a lactation specialist based here in Los Angeles. I provide lactation support um, prenatally and uh, postnatally uh, to expectant and breastfeeding families um, and families who are returning back to work or school and those who are ending their breastfeeding relationship, whether it is in the event of a loss or they are weaning. Um, you can find me all over social media at Lydia O'Boy CLE and you can email me Lydia at Lydia O'Boy.com. You can find my website at bit.ly slash Lydia's resources. There you will find my um, offerings and uh, pricing along with more information about me, um, my recommended reading list, some merchandise that I am selling. Um, and a list of resources okay <clears throat> um, one of the things that I always encourage um, families to do is to make sure that they have some type of professional lactation support okay uh, sister friends granny and uh, mommy and auntie and Aunt Betsy those are all wonderful resources they are amazing supporters and we all need them um, <clears throat> they are going to be your encouragement. They're going to be your cheerleaders. But every family needs somebody who is professionally trained to address those technical issues with breastfeeding. The technical issues are things like um, latch problems, um, painful latch, anatomy issues, um, milk production, um, uh, medication illness, um, things like that. Those require a higher level of experience and training and knowledge, okay? So, you always want a lactation professional. That lactation professional um, can be a full-on lactation consultant. It can be a WIC uh, supporter. If you are a WIC family, then definitely connect to ask for a breastfeeding counselor, all right? Um, if they have a breastfeeding program, all WICs do not have that program, but and they will tell you that they are all supportive of breastfeeding, but ask specifically for someone who is a breastfeeding counselor, um, a standalone breastfeeding counselor. Ask for that and ask if they have that program, all right? Don't just go in looking for a pump. A pump, not a punk, a pump. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> work on and understand and take time to Think about how you want your breastfeeding relationship to look, um, set some goals. And I always encourage families to start with very short-term goals and then increase them as you go along. So I always encourage families to commit while they're pregnant to learning about breastfeeding, right? And their goal with the learning is that they will get through breastfeeding in the hospital. And then once they come home, then their goal will be to make it through the first two weeks. And then from there, you will take it month by month, okay? Or two weeks at a time. Um, <clears throat> so determine what it is that you want. Determine what you, your goals are. Determine how you want breastfeeding to look. And when I say that, I mean, consider your life. Are you a mom that's going to go back to work? Are you, do you have to go back to work right away? Um, do you have some time? If you have some time, then I want you to consider... Um, to push back the thoughts and the concerns and that's the thing that you're going to have to be an active participant about um, about how you're going to get your milk and how you're going to feed the baby once you go back to work if you know that you're taking three weeks off okay um, at least give yourself a month not three weeks I'm sorry three months if you're taking three months off then at least give yourself a month okay to just breastfeed that's it just breastfeed 
We don't need to worry about a pump. We don't need to worry about all this other stuff. All right. Then as you get through the first month, then let's start having those conversations about pumping. Okay. And again, this is when you need um, a professional because that person will be able to help you um, come up with a pumping schedule and to learn what you need to do um, to get your stored milk. And two months of breastfeeding and pumping is a good amount of time to get you started, okay? So let's do that, all right? So, like I said, I am not gonna belabor this. The roads are wet and I want to focus on the, the road. So, you guys have an awesome day. If you're here in California, please be safe. Um, I know if you're up taking the, the kiddos to school, um, please be safe. Leave a lot of room between you and the next car. Um, and um, just be safe out there, okay? So, I will talk to you guys later. If I have some time today, I may pop, in, pop on or I may ask some questions or leave some trivia or something because I know I don't use Instagram enough. And maybe what I'll do is maybe I'll pop on over on um, Facebook. So if you're not following me on Facebook, please do. Um, or I may just do some tweeting. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you have a preference, then definitely comment below. Let me know. Okay. All right, you guys have an awesome day. Be safe. Be warm. Do a lot of feeding. Lots of hugs and kisses. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.